My name is Leon Kalankowitz. I'm an environmental scientist, planner, and consultant whose work has included analyses of the environmental impacts of alternative energy technologies, including their greenhouse gas emissions, along with Steve Camerata, Director of Research at the Center for Immigration Studies. I have co-authored a study just released by the Center entitled Immigration to the United States and Worldwide Greenhouse Gas Emissions. Our study attempts to quantify the direct contribution of immigrants in the United States to increasing U.S. and global carbon dioxide, or CO2, emissions. Since American emissions per capita are much higher than almost all of the immigrant sending countries, immigration to the United States has clear implications for worldwide emissions. Greenhouse gas emissions, the most important of which is CO2, raise the concentration of these gases in the Earth's atmosphere. Most scientists think this increase is causing average global temperatures to rise. There is widespread concern that warming in turn may trigger far-reaching long-term effects on the Earth's climate and biosphere and consequently on human civilization. Thus, the impact of U.S. immigration on annual CO2 emissions is an important research question. A key premise of our study was that CO2 emissions are broadly correlated with income and economic activity, an assumption confirmed by experience and research across time and space. Major findings of our study include the following. The estimated CO2 emissions of the average immigrant, legal or illegal, in the United States are 18% less than those of the average native-born American. However, immigrants in the United States produce an estimated four times more CO2 in the United States as they would have in their countries of origin. U.S. immigrants produce an estimated 637 million metric tons of CO2 emissions annually, equal to Great Britain and Sweden combined. The estimated 637 million tons of CO2 U.S. immigrants produce annually is 482 million tons more than they would have produced had they remained in their home countries. If the 482 million ton increase in global CO2 emissions caused by immigration to the United States were a separate country, it would rank 10th in the world in emissions. Of the CO2 emissions caused by immigrants, 83% is estimated to have come from legal immigrants and 17% from illegal immigrants. Legal immigrants have a much larger impact because they have higher incomes and resulting emissions and because they are more numerous than illegal immigrants. These figures do not include the impact of children born to immigrants in the United States. If they were included, the impact would be much higher. In recent years, increases in U.S. CO2 emission have been driven entirely, almost entirely, by population growth as per capita emissions have stabilized. Assuming no change in U.S. immigration policy, 30 million new legal and illegal immigrants are expected to settle in the United States in the next 20 years. From now until 2050, immigration will directly and indirectly account for about 80% of our nation's population growth. Overall, our study found that immigration to the U.S. accounted for about 5% of the increase in annual worldwide CO2 emissions since 1980. In their approach to global warming, American environmentalists overemphasize the supply side of the equation. They vigorously oppose each new coal-fired power plant and just as strenuously advocate for energy efficiency and renewable sources like wind and solar. But they give short shrift to the demand side and in particular, the underlying cause of growing energy demand and CO2 emissions in America immigration fueled population growth. Some environmentalists have even claimed that it does not matter where people live on Earth because the world's environment, and especially its atmosphere, is one interconnected whole. Our analysis shows that with regard to CO2 emissions, it matters a great deal where people live. Critics may see this as a case of, quote, blaming immigrants, unquote, for what are really America's failures, and it is eminently reasonable to argue that Americans could do much more to reduce per capita emissions. It is certainly not our intention to imply that immigrants are particularly responsible for America's contribution to global warming. In fact, this study shows that immigrants produce somewhat less CO2 on average than native-born Americans. But to simply dismiss the large role that continuing high levels of immigration play in increasing U.S. and worldwide CO2 emissions is not only intellectually dishonest, it is also counterproductive. Unless Americans can face up to this truth, 
we will find that any goalposts we establish for reducing CO2 emissions will move further and further away, perhaps beyond our reach.